Hello everyone, my name is Luchara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2, a legendary Let's Play, episode 45. Working on an add-on here for Alien Invasion Adventure 2, Space is Lonely. Well, Space is Lonely is the name of the add-on. It's done, but I'm just going to polish it until this Unwheel engine is done, and then we're going to make a racing game. So everybody's polishing, we're making it good, we're making it fancy. Uh, research, a bunch of hardware we can do, but it's all uh, obsolete tech that we will never use. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. The one thing I'm not sure about is, no, never mind. There's usually, you must already have it. Uh, see how this is, everything's like for handheld and stationary, except for these cases. There is a, a memory card or cartridge, I forget. One of them you can get for only handheld, because I'm going to be making handheld. Oh, actually, it'll probably be either this episode or next episode. I want to make sure I head that, but the, I don't see a handheld only one there. All right, so demo for Alien Invasion Adventure 2, uh, pre-release marketing. And this engine is almost done, right? It's I'm, I'm pretty sure we're just adding like one thing to that. All right, so let's push this out. 70 to 90, hopefully it's actually over 90. Only cost me 10 million for this though, so it shouldn't be too hard for it to make money, uh, especially at $19 profit per unit moved. I could turn that up. No, that's fine. That's fine for an add-on. Even if it doesn't make money, it should help sell more copies of the original game, which, by the way, is like the best-selling game of all time, right? I think. I'll double-check that. If not, it's probably going to be, or it is close to it. But it was definitely worth doing this, because we gained experience in five things, which is very nice, right? So it was definitely worth making that add-on. And eh, 89 is fine. Oh, it would have been nice to get that 90, though, right? So I want to check the charts, though. Is Alien Invasion Adventure 2 the best-selling game of all time? It is, by 700,000 units. And it's still going to sell for another 20, 30 weeks. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why. I mean, it's it's not a valuable, super valuable IP. It's like, it's an interactive movie, which I have only made a few of. It's not like I'm a pro at making interactive movie games. But we'll take it. Hey, a win's a win, right? All right, so new racing game, because if you go to spinoff, it's sort of by neglect of the IP. I've been neglecting Cycle Mania, and it's like my most valuable IP? Probably, no, probably Puzzler is bigger. Yeah, Puzzler is bigger, but not by much. 4.3 versus 4.1. But racing was like the negative trend for a while there is part of the reason why. All right, so I have two different Cycle Manias. We got Cycle Mania and Cycle Mania Drift. We did a Drift game just five years ago. Even that's a long time. Let's do a, just a mainline Cycle Mania. Um, so Cycle Mania is racing skill. Cycle Mania Drift is racing action. I think it's different. It's a different subgenre. Speaking of subgenres, what uh, subgenres work with racing? I want to see here. Action simulation sports. That's it. Um, wait, so skill doesn't work with racing? No. Skill doesn't work. So let's change this to... <laughs> Let's change this to sports, which is a new combo, right? Which gives us 10% extra units sold. Um, do I want to change one of the subtopics? Like cars or something? Just, oh, that's not a new combo. Never mind. I was looking for a new combo. Uh, what about motorcycles and cars? Is that a new combo? Just trying to get uh, maximized. It is. So it's only 3%. Like, this is worth 10% extra units. This is only 3%. But hey, 3% is 3%, right? So Cycle Mania 6, now with cars, <laughs> basically. Uh, we do not have a racing-focused license. Let's see if we can change that. There might not be one, which is okay. We don't need a license. Um, five games for a million dollars. It's only two stars, though. But it's the only one I could see. Uh, all is good. Uh, double A, this is going to be triple A. I might go back and change it to A, but I'm almost positive that's going to be triple A. Like, there's very little doubt in my mind. All right, so multi platform, yes. PC, uh, Mac, well, Game Station 2 for sure. Let's sort this by active users. Well, Game Station 1 isn't internet capable. And 63 isn't internet capable, so yeah, so it'll have to be GameStation 2, Mac, and of course the Arc Pro. I'm going to include my own console. 
So this is reaching 247 million people, which, spoiler alert, is a lot. And turn on all languages. So, yeah. Use the old tech level 4 sound that we're really good at using. This tech level 5 stuff we're not that good at. But it's still good, right? But at least I only have the one thing that I have no stars in, which is good. All right, so this stuff, these sliders need to move, right? Because this is our first racing slash sports game. 8397. So they're probably going to be fairly similar. And a lot of extra innovation for this. 1264. Two, so level design and mission design come down a fair bit. And then 704, which is pretty close. Gets a little easier. Just a little bit easier. And then 10, 40, 30, 20. 10, 40, 30, 20. That is the base. There. 10, 40, 30, 20. I'm going to try it like that. Lately, I've been taking a little play off the gameplay slider and putting it on tech. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that again. Because tech is more important than gameplay. And for whatever reason, we always get more gameplay than tech. Probably because I have a lot of good gameplay people in my main development room. I mean, I have a variety, but yeah, you know what I mean. All right, so let's turn on everything that matters, which is 45 and 50. I could cut five things and keep this double A, right? Because a lot of this stuff, like side quests and random story events, repeatable quests, don't matter for a, a racing sports game, right? But we could cut cheat codes, password saves, pause function, Easter eggs. And you know what? I'm going to leave it in. Light gun support? Why would light gun support matter for <laughs> a racing sports game? I don't know. I don't know, but whatever. We'll leave it in. All right, so there we go. Cyclemania 6 coming right up. And obviously, we're going to pour everything we can into making this game as good as possible. And, yeah, is it going to be really good? Probably not because of the en the engine stuff is so unfamiliar to us. We don't have stars in, like, any of it. Uh, free update for, oh, wow, we're behind on updates. Let's do one for Puzzler because Puzzler is selling really well. And it is my biggest IP, so we want to make it continue to sell really well, right? And still no research. And, of course, let's mark it to Psychomania 6. Do a internet ad, get us to 60. Then we'll do a TV spot, get us to 90. Hey, we won best graphics. Not best sound, though. But I did sweep everything else. Horror Wizards Fight. Should get a nice little boost to sales. That's my first third-person shooter. It's a third-person shooter slash fighting game. <laughs> horror Wizards. It's a horror and wizards game. Shocking, I know. Very descriptive title I, I did there. All right, so marketing. TV up to 90 and we can look at doing overhype and such. Uh, legendary technician legendaries are overrated. They're expensive and they're not worth it. Um, nobody's maxed out in the training rooms. Kind of surprised. I was expecting somebody to be maxed out over there. It was not the case. So we're just going to move along. Dragon Fantasy Nine, as, as predicted, lost a ton of money. Because this was an exclusive for just my console. It did move 220000 of my console so it got like two and a half million in sales so really i only lost nine million but let's be real losing nine million is still not good <laughs> how is my console selling now it's the holiday season pretty good hundred twenty eight thousand. i mean the goblin pro is not so much but it's it's old it's obsolete we're just we're just waiting for the the screen right the um the screen to come through the tech level four handheld screen. Actually, let's let's make sure that's what I'm waiting for. So develop console, new handheld. All right, so we got tech five everywhere except the screen, which is tech three. Yes, okay. So I'm good. I don't need to research anything. Um, so yeah, let's put them on waiting for commissions to come in until that screen comes through, and then we'll do the screen. All right, speaking of consoles, um, I'm going to market the Goblin Pro. Is it a waste of money? Probably. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I will probably, yeah, I'll not get that million dollars back, but it made $134 million. I'm fine with pushing it, right? Late in its life. 
Yeah, Alien Invasion Adventure 2, smooth 50k week holiday season. Ooh, Puzzler is really... Oh, speaking of the screen, there it is. I knew it was coming. I knew. I could just tell. Hardware. Uh, 3.6 inch touch screen. Let's go. Let's go. What type of game we're going to make next? Uh, this is going to be the trend for 28 more weeks. I haven't made an adventure in a minute, and it's relatively popular and unsaturated. And when I say a minute, I mean <laughs> it's been a while. Um, you know, I updated the engine at some point. Maybe it hasn't been that long then. I feel like it was, though. But I want to include the best tech level 4 now because... I think well, this is going to be take. This is going to take a minute to upgrade, update. This <laughs> we're adding a lot of things. Um, now that I have, or now that I'm going to, should say going to have the handheld tech level four handheld. I'm going to be making. I'll probably be alternating between tech level five and tech level four games. Do one tech level four, probably manufacturer exclusive for my two consoles, and then the next one. Ooh, you're ready to go in the main room. Uh, the next game will be uh, Tech Level 5, right? The highest tech for, like, PC and, you know, Game Station 2 and Orc Pro and all those things. And hey, do me a favor. If you're enjoying the video, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. Please. Please, I beg you. Just kidding. I'm not going to beg. Um, do I need... Ooh, gold record for Horror Wizards Fight. That was good. Is Alien Invasion Adventure 2 going to be my first platinum record? Wait, is it platinum or diamond? I mean, there's both platinum and diamond. I'm just, I forget which one is 5 million and which one is uh, 10. I think it's platinum next, and diamond is 10. Yes, platinum is 5. So it's at 4.1 million now. And like I said, it's moving 50,000 a week, basically. But holiday season's about to end. So that's probably going to drop to like 35k, maybe even lower. That's okay. All right. So pre release for the press went through. A couple of game studios closed. So are they closing because somebody's buying them and closing them, or are they just closing? All right. New handheld. Finally. God, it feels like forever. Like level four. <laughs> it's just funny. We got like advanced tech level five stuff in some cases <laughs> all right so we did blue chair goblin um so what do we want to call this little um this console the little handheld i want a new name right like i always use the same names blue chair go blue chair pocket blue chair mini the goblin and the orc are nice and unique so i'm trying to think of like what's a small creature from like fantasy lore that I can lean into much like the orc and goblin and I'm completely blanking because yeah I'm awesome at thinking of stuff um let's go with the luchera um crap jacks the knoll luchera knoll knolls aren't that small though that's the problem um let's go with the luchera jackal wait no isn't the jackal the name of a handheld already like an atari or something that's the Lynx. Wasn't there a Jackal too, though? I don't know. Uh, crap. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to call it the chair go. Ah, I panicked. I panicked, folks. I'm sorry. That was a panic name. Uh, let's go with like a blue. Well, none of these. Okay, there we go. That's blue. That is the best case. Predecessor model, the Goblin Pro. Let's include um, Dragon Fantasy 9. It was a good game that didn't sell a lot of units because it was an exclusive, right? Which I think is a, a good pre-installed game. Backwards compatible, yes, please. And internet capable, uh, definitely yes, please. Turn on all the features. Definitely turn on all the features. And away we go. So that's going to be expensive. And that's okay, because we've been making a lot of money lately. And this... I think this handheld will make money in the long run, right? Once it get, once we get it out there. All right, so uh, overhype went through for Cyclomania. 
So let's mark it. Uh, let's mark it to Lutar Go. Uh, I literally said I didn't want to go with one of my old names, and then I just went with one of my old names because I froze and panicked. <laughs> hey, 700 extra tech points. That's good. Tech points are good there. All right, so we're going to be up to 40 hype. Then we can do two TV spots. It's a game console loops. There you go. And then we'll be done marketing that. you got to get a game out. So we're just waiting for this engine to be updated. Oh, we got somebody maxed out here. You need a whole bunch of programming training. That's done. Let's do a free update for Horror Wizards Fight. How is... Uh, Oh, Horror Wizards Fight is selling strong. Puzzler is selling really strong. All right, we need to polish this just a little bit longer, I think. Not, not much. Uh, total halfway through the week. There we go. That'll be good. Finish development. Uh, Self-distribution, obviously. Obviously self-distribution. And, oh my god, that's a lot of things that we didn't have full stars in. And still don't have anywhere near full stars in a lot of those things. But I still think it'll be okay. I'm going to say 95%. Maybe even higher. Maybe 96. Could be 98. I believe there's too many things we didn't have maxed or, Never mind, I was wrong. It's 98. And wrong in a good way. <laughs> right? Wrong in a good way. So, develop a game. Sequel. Um, adventure, 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 fantasy quest that has no IP value whatsoever. Hunter's Quest, no IP value whatsoever. So it looks like we're doing a spin off of Puzzle Lore. I mean, it's my most valuable one. This one's just gonna be Puzzle Lore of the Dragon Quest, it's going to be an adventure. An adventure slash what is the question. What works with adventure is also the question. Puzzle, platformer, interactive movie, visual novel, or first-person shooter. All right, so I'm thinking either interactive movie or visual novel. Make the most sense, right? Um, so let's go visual novel. Get an extra star there. We only have the one star. Um, we're going to go double A for now. Might end up being triple A. Who knows? Uh, I do not have an adventure-based or an adventure-focused Adventure suited might be the best term. A license, and there is one. It's only two stars, but it's also really cheap, so might as well grab it. It's better than nothing, right? Adults are definitely the play. And we will go Quest Engine, Manufacturer Exclusive, Terra Orc Pro, Terra Go, Let's Go. Turn on all the languages. Okay, so we got to go back to Tech Level 4 here, which is fine. Right? It's still still going to be a good game, I think. Um, so Adventure Visual Novel. This will be my first one. Or pretty sure it is. Better be. 2151. Okay, so these are changing a lot. Well, these sliders are from, like, a puzzle game still, right? And I think it's, like, 10, 9, uh, 7, 5. And then... No, those sliders are wrong. That's from a just adventure game. Four, two, five, one. Four, two, five, one. Ten, nine, five, four. There. That's an adventure visual novel. And five, 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 just right down the middle. And then 40, 30, 13, 15. Or 15, 15. Did I say 13? I said 13 because I said 30. I'm going to do this like I've been doing, just 5% towards programming. Turn that all the thing. So, yeah, this is going to be a double A game. So, this is going to be a nice, cheap game to make because it's only double A. It's only tech level four, which is good because. Oh, oh, I already have a puzzle or the dragon quest. Two? <laughs> I guess. I already have a puzzle or the dragon quest, too. Um,. Puzzle of the Dragon Adventure, I guess. Oh, man. I'm so good at this game, folks. <laughs> um, wait, what? 
what was what's the problem? Oh, I need touchscreen support first before I can do that. Oh. Huh. I mean that makes sense. That makes sense, right? <laughs> um so while that happens, let's do a paid add-on for Cyclemania 6. I know it isn't even out yet. The reason I'm doing this is because there were so many things that we could get stars in, right? I think it makes sense to do this. So Cyclemania 6, Carmania, because this is the first Cyclemania game that has cars. Maybe the second. It's one of them. Definitely one of them. Definitely one of the things. Yeah, hopefully we get some stars. All right, that's going to need some marketing. Although, obviously, this is going to take longer than the research is. So we're kind of losing a bit of time. I, I realize that full well. Um, oh, $6,000 commission work. That's barely worth my time. 104000 on the other hand is worth it. Um, game reports. I shouldn't. No, I was going to say I shouldn't be too far behind there, and I'm not. A lot of commission work here. Some of it valuable, some of it not. All right, so let's do TB spot. At least one, get it to 70 hype. Don't wait for new contract work. Polish. A new polish. A new polish. Well, bug fix and then polish. <laughs> and we got to wait for them to get through their... Uh... Oh, it looks like Cycle Mania 6 is selling well, though, so I'm glad I did that add-on. Yo, oh my God, 162,000. Yeah, I think, I think that was a good play. I think that was a good play. Remote control support. Well, oh, that's for a console. I uh, can't. You can't put it on a handheld anyway. I was gonna say, oh, it's something extra for my handheld, but it's not. It's not. Uh, what's the next trend gonna be? What do we think it's going to be? Tinder development. Let's do a pre-release for the press here. Uh, beta demo on a pre-release for the press really quickly. And then we'll put it out. All right, market research. We think the next trend is going to be puzzle game again. Wait, so it's going to, it's puzzle and skill right now. It's going to stay puzzle and skill? Is what my... All right, well, in that case, um, I'm not sure what to do. Real-time strategy? I feel like I've said, oh, maybe I should do a real-time strategy like eight times in the last like five episodes, and I never do it. I never do it. So let's update that engine. And maybe I'll actually do it this time. Maybe. Probably not, though. <laughs> All right, so let's release this. No, we got to wait till the end of the week. And now we can release this. Finish development. Self-distribution. Considering how well Cyclomania 6 is selling, I think this one's going to sell fine. And look at that. Six stars. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. All right, now. 94% also makes it totally worth it. Develop a game. Spin off. All right, so where is Puzzler of the Dragon Quest? Like, I see Three Kingdoms Quest. I see Fantasy Quest. What if I go sequel? Um, Puzzle of the Dragon. Oh, Puzzle of the Dragon Quest 2. It's not an adventure game, but it's going to be. <laughs> oh, I can't change the main. Okay, so... Oh, this is weird. All right, so let's... Okay, spin off of Puzzle Lore. Because we can't spin off a spin off. Basically, is what's going on. So adventure. So apparently... In the time I was screwing around, um, <laughs> adventure became saturated, <laughs> unfortunately. And that's on me. I have nobody to blame but myself. Um, this will be double A. All right, so let's just get through this quickly. Uh, we'll share Orc Pro, manufacturer exclusive, share Go. 
Um, tackle level four. Okay. Um, these are not right, I don't think. Four, two, five, one. Four, two, five, one. Ten, nine, five, four. Yes, five, four. And then five, five, five. And 35, 30, 15, 20, we're going to go with. Turn on everything that applies. Hey, touchscreen support. We did it. <laughs> All right. 30 hype out of the gate. That's okay. So, uh, what's the best way to get that? So, we'll go. Yeah, we'll just do radio, then internet, then TV. I think it's probably the smartest way to get where we need to get. And you notice how this is way cheaper. This is like a million cheaper than normal, right? Because it's only a double A game. It's only um, tech level four engine stuff. This game is going to be much cheaper to make. But it's not going to sell well because it's an exclusive. But hopefully it sells well enough. As long as it moves consoles, ultimately I'm happy, I guess, at the end of the day. <laughs> All that really matters is it moves consoles. And especially when you have a new console... You don't want to release a console with zero games, right? Because it's like minus 50% sales if it has zero games. So we've got to make sure we have one game ready to go. At least, right? Which this will be. Which is good. Or it should be. Yeah, I don't know, is that moving faster? <laughs> Alien Slaughterhouse 7. Uh, made 29 million, almost 30. Nice. Modern 3D graphics. Oh my god, the... The graphics features. When's the last time I even got five stars in the graphics? <laughs> I guess tech level four. The last tech level four I did. That's it. Like everything else. I'm chasing. I'm chasing tech. All right. So we just upgraded that RTS engine. Now we got to upgrade it again. Because there's new tech. We managed to get three stars in that one. Well, I guess, I, yeah. But it's been tough to get max stars in this stuff. The upgrades, it just, it's just this time of, you know, in the real world, uh, tech came through. Hey, billion dollars. I only noticed because I um, had a Steve achievement pop up. Basically, there's, an, a, there's several achievements that you can only get on Legendary. Billion dollars is one of them. Um, we lost 183 graphics points. That's fine. This game is going to be ready before the console, which is good. Now let's do a demo for Carmania while we're looking at it. And let's pick up this rug and drop it for no reason whatsoever. Other than that, I can't click where I want to click. And we're going to overhype. Eh, actually, overhype might not have been a great idea. <laughs> this might not be reviewed all that well. And of course, because I'm making a console right now, there are new consoles parts available. Because of course there is. Uh, let's do a free update for Psychomania. We got some people maxed out in training here. Hardware and engineering. So you go in. Oh god, I just realized I'm making console and I don't have everybody in there. <laughs> Whoops. And you're maxed out. You need graphics still. That's my bad. So it'll be ready soon after the game. Or should be. And, okay, is there any reason to do, to, um, to research this stuff? Or, okay, oops, uh, the Goblin Pro is going to have to come off the market. So, eventually, I'm going to revise my tech level 4 up to tech level 5. The question is, will tech level 6 stuff be available then? Because here's the thing, like, it's 9 million <laughs> for this graphics card research. It's 4 million the sound card that's 13 million dollars i don't want to spend that if i'm never going to use them right i'm not going to use them in my stationary for sure i might use them in my handheld i'm just i'm not sure when the handheld screen comes out i'm going to look it up i'm going to cheat and look it up am i going to do that right now or do i want to do that later uh i'll look you know what i'll look it up off off camera but for now i'm not going to do them because i don't know if they're necessary right 
All right, so yeah, only 12 million to make this game. That is way cheaper than most of the games I've been making lately. And I don't see a reason to hold it back, right, at this point. Let's just get it out there, finish development. Well, I mean, finish development, but we can't put it out until the console's out, right? So we'll just save it for later for when the console's out. Speaking of consoles, let's remove the Gobble Pro. You did your, you did your job, though. You're pretty high up in the charts. You're in the top 10. You were good. Oh, it would have been nice to pass the Qatari 2600. But we didn't. We didn't. Look at all that. Game Boys and PlayStations at the top. They have it on lockdown up there. All right. So develop a game. Sequel. Real-time strategy. Where are you at? Real-time strategy. Works versus Wizards 3. Definitely going to be triple A. Uh, do I want to leave it as an RTS role playing game, or do I want to? Do I want to change that to try to get uh, that ten percent uh, the sales? You can, I mean, you can only do it so many times, right? Role playing strategy, action, economic sim, and construction, aka building, all work for real time strategy. You know what? I'm going to leave it at role playing game this time. At a later time, we can switch it, right? Um, just because if I'm constantly doing this now, it means I can't do it later. I just want to kind of leave it open for later. All right, so this is going to be a Tech Level 5 game, multi-platform, PC, Game Station 2, uh, Mac, and the Orc Pro. Let's just see what's out there. Uh, the Xbox, or Y-Box, as it's called here, must be coming soon. Right, I feel like or it should be. All right, turn on all the languages. So yeah, not great. The engine stuff. It's funny. Like this is our second Tech Level Five graphics, second or third, and we still haven't got a Tech Level Five sound thing yet. All right, everything looks good here. Um, those sliders, though, I'm not as sure about. Let's check what it's supposed to be. 30, 30, 10, 30. Uh, 30, 30. Yeah, it's close. Go like that. Yeah, that'll be good. Turn on everything, which is, I think, a lot. 53 and 50. So, yeah, I'm going to have to... <laughs> going to have to cut a couple things here. Like password saves, checkpoints, pause function... I'm not ready to make a quadruple A game yet. No, I'm not there yet. Soon. Ish. Not yet. Definitely not yet. All right. And of course, we're going to make this as good as we can. Which will be good. But yeah. Man, it feels like... It feels like I've been waiting forever for this handheld. Right? <laughs> like, forever. Uh, and you're maxed out. You're ready to move into the big room. And let's find somebody who's not maxed out, like you, who need a lot of different things. <laughs> Start you into the training process. All right. Things are going well. Oh, well. You can say, I'm over a billion dollars, but I'm not anymore. I was. I was. I got the achievement. That's all that matters. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.